What's up, Nay Gang? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Connor, and this is my life. Make sure you click that subscribe button, and if you're not new here, welcome back, Nay Gang. And yeah, so today I'm going to do a video, a video about the time I almost drowned trying out for Sesame Place Swim Team, y'all. <laughs> goodness if you didn't already watch my story time of when I worked for Sesame Place for one day make sure you go watch that video before you watch this one so I applied for Sesame Place and I applied for the job um what was it the operator the machine operator okay I didn't get that job because it was already filled up so the next job I applied for was a lifeguard so y'all at the time I thought I could swim and I know a lot of people might say, well, how did you know you didn't know how to swim? Because I, you know, in the pool when I was younger, I always knew how to swim. At least I thought I knew how to swim. Maybe I didn't ever go in the deep end, but I thought I knew how to swim. So, my stepdad, um, to prepare me for the test, my stepdad taught me how to swim back how did he teach me how to swim and we didn't have a pool y'all me my mom my stepdad and if i'm not mistaken my sister um to a hotel mind you we didn't even have a hotel room which was so dirty and cringy talking about it now that i'm thinking back about it but yeah we basically broke into the <laughs> swimming pool at the hotel y'all like so, um, yeah, so we broke into, not broke, really broke into it, but we literally just walked in the hotel and went to the swimming pool. So my stepdad taught me how to swim. He wanted to teach me how to swim that entire week. But Kone being Kone, thinking she knew everything, I went to two swimming sessions, which I was actually pretty good. Um, well, at least I thought I was good, or <laughs> I thought I was prepared. Um, my stepdad was calling me at the third day, like, do you still want to go swimming? You know, want to make sure you got it before the test. But no, I wanted to be grown and go see my son's dad. And I skipped out that day. Boy, did I pay for that. So, y'all, now um, the day comes where I had to do the swimming test. I already knew everything was going to go wrong. One, I couldn't find my bathing suit. My really cute bathing suit that I had. Like, it was so cute. Um, I couldn't find my bathing suit. So, and... Alternative, I had to wear my mom's bathing suit, y'all. Yes, my mom's bathing suit. Embarrassing wasn't the word. It was so big and baggy, but I didn't have no other way to go. Like, it literally was... The time was ticking to leave to go to the swim... The swim, um, trial. So... I'm like, oh my goodness. So me and my mom and my son gets in the car. We drive mm, up to the swim tryouts or whatever. We get, first of all, we had to put in the GPS because it was so far away. It was like at a high school. We arrived to this high school and um, yeah, we get the directions. We go into, we go into the place. They have this huge, when I say huge swimming pool, y'all. This swimming pool, well, you can't see my living room right now, but this swimming pool was huge. When I say huge, it was probably like two of your neighborhood swimming pools. And it was at a, a high school, or it might have been a grade school, in Ben Salem. Like, it was crazy. It was freaking huge. So, all right, we get there. I see everybody there. So, I'm already nervous. They told my mom and my son that they had to sit upstairs in the bleachers. So this is how it was. The swimming pool was right here and the bleachers was like above the swimming pool. If you get what I'm saying, they had to walk up steps and they looking down at us. So every, all appearances up here looking at us, like everybody. It had to be about 35 to 40 kids in there. So it was white kids, black kids, Spanish kids, mixed races. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm about to kill it. Mind you, I was, y'all. Everybody had on their cute bathing suits, two pieces, their cute swimming trunks. I was in there with a damn baggy ass bathing suit. My mom bathing suit at that. Like it was, it was so embarrassing. So it was 
like they call my name like Quinn Connor, Quinn Connor. I'm like, alright, game time, fuck it. I had to take off my shorts, so to, like literally the butt part of my bathing suit was so fucking saggy, it was oh my gosh, like it was a mess. So I'm like, fuck it. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm going all in. So I take off my shorts, walk up to the guy with this baggy ass bathing suit on. So he like telling us to do a couple things. I think it was like four or five of us in a group who we had to swim from this side to this side. And I think we had to do it twice. So this side to this side, this side to that side, that was one. Did it again, this side to that side, this side to that side, that was This pool was 10 freaking feet. No! 10 feet. Mind you, I can't look back at my mom or tell her operation off. I can't say nothing. I don't have a choice but to do it at this time because it's all these parents looking at me. All these kids in here looking at me like, sis. So I'm lined up as me, a girl, another boy. So they're all lined up to jump in the pool. All, you talk my heart beating on my chest. It was like, boom, ba boom, 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 boom. Oh, speaking of that, I already, I was still, I was more embarrassed because my son, if you don't know, I'm a teen mom. Well, I was a teen mom. If you didn't watch that video, go back and watch my teen mom story time. But yeah, so my son, I'm looking up at the bleachers. I can hear him screaming, crying, like, ah, ah, ah. I don't know if he wanted me. I don't know what was the issue at that time, but I just hear him screaming, crying. Everybody, all the kids are looking up like, who is that baby crying? I'm just like, oh my God. As if the day can't get any worse. So I'm like, fuck this shit. I just want to get this over with. My mom trying to calm him down. I'm like, listen, I'm over it. So they like. On the count of three, everybody jump in and start swimming. One, two, three. Bird! They blow the whistles, y'all. I jump in the fucking water. I was doing good first. Swimming, swimming, swimming. Yo, I was doing fine. Like, I was. I wouldn't say I was swimming, I'm not going to lie. I was like more so doggy paddling, like this type of swimming. But they said if you, it don't matter if you tread the water, if you doggy pedal, if you make it from this side to that side, you cool. So I'm like, all right, cool. Everybody take off. I'm, I was like, what the, f like this is crazy. So yeah, I'm doggy pedaling, doggy pedaling, doggy pedaling or whatever. I get halfway, I remember getting halfway down. It started getting deeper and deeper and deeper. And I'm just like, oh, no, this ain't for me. Like, I, I feel like I'm drowning a little bit. So the guy, like, you cool? Are you okay? Are you okay? So I'm trying to be, like, I'm like, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I got it. So I'm still doggy pedaling. Bitch, I reached the point where I couldn't put my feet to the motherfucking ground. I just went down, like, to my heart. Had to jump in. Like, y'all, mind you, imagine a room full of parents. My son is screaming and hollering for me up in the bleachers. We have 40 kids already surrounding me. And I'm swimming with five kids that already done went past me before I even jumped in the goddamn water, apparently. Like, swimming like fishes. And I'm sitting here swimming like a, a cat in water. I, yo, so I'm under the water. Or whatever the, the lifeguard jumps in it was actually two lifeguard jump in to make sure I was okay by then I'm already in 10 feet it was all bad like all bad so I get out of the water by this time my mom already down there with my screaming baby on the side of the pool asked me am I okay it was a whole shit show so long story short I was out of there like I didn't make the cut so when I got out, I just literally, I was like, mom, come on, let's go. Like, let's go. So I just got my stuff in. We were going. Y'all, I was so freaking embarrassed. Like, I was so embarrassed. <laughs> it's so cringy to even think about to this day. Like, me and my mom still bust out laughing. Like, I can laugh now, but y'all, I was so embarrassed. And y'all know, every, I know, 
everybody experienced this like at least a female experienced this when your baby suit is too big at the bottom once you get out the water it gets even bigger so can you imagine the lifeguards pulling me out the freaking pool on oh, my camera about to die but yeah can you imagine the lifeguards pulling me out the pool with a baggy ass baby suit <laughs> it was disgusting but yeah that wraps up my most embarrassing story time ever if you <laughs> make sure you like comment and subscribe and hit that bell to get all the notifications when i post i'm out there gang bye